What is going to get you moving today? A lot of what I studied all through graduate school, um, 10 years of it, was motivation. Um, motivation, emotion, stress, and performance. Um, but today I'm going to talk about the, the things that get us out of bed, the things that get us moving, the things that help us to uh, start and complete projects. Um, and so two things that will get us going. One is when motivation is missing, we have volition. It's that, that part of us that says, I'm going to do it regardless of how I feel. Um, when I, I don't feel like it, but I'm going to make myself do it. That's volition. That's using the agency of ourself um, to, to decide to do something. Um, and this doesn't come with any, like, I feel really excited about this or somebody's going to make me do this. That's motivation. That's the second thing that will get us to do something. And motivation can be intrinsic, with that, that inner joy or that inner excitement. Um, or it can be extrinsic motivation where there's outside pressure or some outside uh, external reward for, for doing something. Sometimes we need volition. Um, but it's good to be motivated in life and to, to always realize the utility and instrumentality of, of doing whatever it is we're doing. One of the key concepts um, that is, is in the literature about, about motivation is, um, is by Albert Bandura um, talking about self-efficacy. Now, self-efficacy seems silly. Um, you can think of it as as a, a version of confidence. Um, if we don't feel confident in doing something, then we're probably not going to do it, right? Or, or we're going to do it and, and not, um, not do a good job. So actually, the more confident we feel to some extent, um, the more, you know, the more we'll actually be competent at doing it. We'll do a better job if we feel confident. Um, and so the idea of self-efficacy is not about overall confidence. Confidence is a general term like, oh, that guy's confident. Um, but self-efficacy has to do with confidence in performing specific tasks. So do I think I can, um, can get an A on this test or uh, go back to college or um, get back in a, uh, in a relationship, um, whatever it is. Um, doesn't have to be a, a, a real concrete task, but self-efficacy is the idea of having a specific thing in mind and how confident we feel about, about accomplishing it. So um, self-efficacy is based on really four things. Um, and, and so one way that we can have this self-efficacy is through mastery experiences. Have you done it before? Okay, you're, you're probably confident that you can do it again to some extent. If you've succeeded before, you probably feel like you can succeed again. And that's the most common type that, that we feel um, that our self-efficacy is, is high in something is if, if we've succeeded in doing it before. Um, and then it's just, as they say, riding a bike again. Um, we, we've done it before um, and we can do it again. A second type is uh, through a secondary or vicarious experience to where we look over at our buddy um, and, and she's, she's not that much better than me, but you know we're, we're about the same and she, she did it. Um, she did whatever, whatever it is or he did it. Um, and the fact that they did it and comparing ourselves, um, not in a in a way that invites competition, but comparing ourselves in order to see, hey, they they can do this, then certainly I can do this too. Um, that's a way that we see through comparison. We see if they can do it, I feel more confident that I can do it also, and so self-efficacy uh, increases.